Welcome back to Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box. Let's go see if we can find anything else out about that diary. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, how did you get uh, here? I, I, I ended up here somehow. Inspector Chelmy, where did you come from? I, I don't... <laughs> took the word right out of my mouth, laddie. Wasn't expecting to see you two in a place like this. After some filled work and dropstone, I was able to deduce that this t town and the Elysian box are linked. Dr. Dr. Scherter has stockpiled quite the stack of research on, on, on the Elysian box. Uh, the criminal I'm... <clears throat> the criminal I'm in, per, per, in pursuit of more than likely did not to kill the doctor to get his hands on the box. So instead, instead of, of, of chasing the man, I decided to chase the box. When I find it, I'll find the culprit. Wow, that's a solid bit of reasoning there. I didn't expect that from the inspector. Damn. Got, got yeah. his ass. Say something, lad. Uh, no, sir, not a word. I didn't think so. <laughs> Good, because I've got no time for idle chit chat. Haha. <laughs> I've got a murderer to, to catch and, and, and catch and, 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 and cart back to London. Come on, Barton. We're leaving. <laughs> I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> hey, are you out shopping for anything in particular? I apologize, but we're not here to shop today. However, I was wondering, have you ever heard of an antique called the Elysian Box? Oh dear, here we go with that box again. You know you're the th third party to ask about it today. The third? Those two detectives you saw were just just asking about it. And a ha a and a half hour ago, there was a young lady. She seemed interested in knowing it, well, whether anyone had been searching for the box around town. Hmm. <clears throat> Can you describe the young lady? Oh, sure. She's quite the beauty. She wasn't a local, but she uh, had a face that just seemed familiar. Ah. Uh, and the officers, well, they said they were were here on official police and on an official police investigation. I, I, I tell you what, 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 what I told everyone today. I wish I, I wish you could help, but this box you're after is news to me. Bless you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, well, one of my v visitors, I forgot who, who m mentioned something about the box having quite a history behind it. I would screwed up. Medin, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, edit it. It'll be fine. <laughs> if the thing was was uh, was Evan Folsons, it may be worth with, with checking at the Harrison Museum. Where might we find this museum? Uh, just look for the big, big building in the middle of the town, a ways to the north. The museum ha 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 houses a, a, a wealth of documents ce celebrating the history of our town. This is all extremely useful. Thank you for the suggestion. We'll be sure to pay the museum a visit. Oh, before you run off, would you m mind if I take a look at that book you got there? Feel free, my good man. Ah, yes. Uh, uh, the construction is quite quite useful for for a book of it. Uh, 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 the construction is quite unusual for a book of its age. Lovely, lo lovely work and very rare, I'd say. Would you happen to know anything about this symbol on the book's cover? I was just about to comment on how familiar the symbol feels, though 
it, it has no significance I'm aware of. I must confess what, through my eye, eye to the book, uh, what, what were its locks. Old gadgets always fascinated me. Its construction is, is very basic, so you might be able to turn the lot locks with any old key you stumble upon. As a matter of fact, here. Why don't why don't don't, don't see if the, if this key does the trick? But the book is cursed, so every time you use a key, it's going to break off in the lock, and then you need to get another one. Oh. It's my way of saying thank you for showing me something interesting. Oh, many thanks, my good man. A diary key. Gee, it's too bad we didn't find out more about that book in there. It certainly <clears throat> would have been nice, but we'll have to put the book aside for now. It's time to pay a visit to the Hudson Museum. Wait a minute, I just remembered I had a hamster toy. Yeah, yeah. a couple of hamster toys. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, we got hamster toys. Okay, we need him to walk 14 currently. Be 10, 13, 12. Got any snacks around here? Don't hold out on me. Ah, uh, uh. Oh. He's getting the hang of this walking thing, dude. He is no longer a slug. He is a sloth. A sloth. No, oh. right. <laughs> and our new goal is 18. I think this will take it to 19. Why do I gotta move around? It's not fair. <laughs> Getting faster. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, suddenly I've got energy to spare. Loafer. Loafer? Hell yeah, dude. Uh, not that. Oh, that. <laughs> Yeah, we had some new tea. Oh. <clears throat> oh. I'm exhausted. Could you make me a tea with some oasis leaf and a double dose of briskberry? Oh, this tea sure hits the spot. It's sweet and it's gotta be ready to start walking again. Now that's good tea. Luke seems restored and in high spirits. You found a hint coin in the bottom of your teacup. 24 more to go. Yay. That's a lot. More lore. I had the great fortune of bumping into that girl from the ball the other day. She's the daughter of some fancy lord or another, and it shows. Her intellect is matched only by the grace she displays. To be honest, I'm quite taken with her and have already started courting her. However, I feel father seems less than pleased with the idea. The, the hurt yeah, just... No. It's north. It's go north. I wonder if the mirror's valuable. Better be careful. This is exactly the kind of chair in which to read a good book. Okay. I've heard... I've heard... All about you, miss. I know you've been, been asking around town about that box. So again, the, the kind of voice she has, she's the one who's been doing the narration, the ominous narration. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, but I just... And before you say anything, I don't care who your dear old dad is. No, it's above the law. It, in my eyes, getting out, out chasing the Elysian box moves the top of my suspect list. No, you've got it all wrong. Uh, sir, if you wouldn't mind. What is it, Barton? Can't you see I'm in the middle of something here? Uh, yes, yeah, about that, sir. The criminal we seek killed the man to obtain the Elysian box, so the village should have it already. The young lady was our culprit. She'd have no need to ask her out about the box, in my opinion, sir. Oh, is that so, Barton? <clears throat> I don't recall ever asking for your analysis of the situation. T terribly sorry, sir. Please forgive my momentary lapse in judgment. I'll just be going now. Next time I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. <laughs> but get back here this instant. Uh, I'll have your nightstick, I swear. <laughs> that, uh. Chelmy and Beluga getting into an argument would be a match for the ages. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hey, that's the girl we. What the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, that voice doesn't go very easily. It, like, I can do it, but it doesn't leave. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, that's the girl we saw back at the station in Dropstone. It's still kind of there. It's 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 like when uh, that thing, like, I think I'm stuck in permanent Krillin. <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? Katie? No, that's not it. That's funny. Mm. Yeah. I believe you're thinking yeah. of Mr. Anderson's daughter, Katia. Yes, that's the one. Who'd have thought she'd be headed to the same place as us? Hmm. Street vendors are so cool. Nerd. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a couple of mugs I've seen before. I just imagine Flora leans out the hotel window. Nerd! Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. That's bugging me. What if I... A line? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I know you. Oh, that looks weird, though, when the text box <laughs> goes away. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take the line. <laughs> <laughs> I know fate, because that's what brought you, me, and that swell tea set of yours together. I don't remember now, if, actually, if I did voice him or fan stick I did. Hmm. I, well, we're going now. Yeah, where we're, we're going now. I know. Now that we're all reunited, I say we celebrate with a cup of tea. Bring me something nice, would you? You want us to make tea for you? That's right, whippersnapper, but nothing fancy. A cup of Bell Classic will do the trick. It's so easy to make, even a baby could do it. A baby with a magic tea set, that is. Anywho, all you need is some oasis leaf, a little brisk berry, and a sprinkle of Bell Tart seed. I should have served him the wrong one. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not a bad cup of tea you made, Shorty. Of course, you wouldn't have pulled it off without my expert direction, so don't get cocky. You know, this town is filled with thirsty folks. Uh, don't take that out of context. Uh, I was about to make a joke. Damn it. <laughs> you got the tea set, so the way I see it, it's your responsibility to help people. If you manage to help everyone out with a tea break, good things will happen. This, I promise. Gosh, Professor, what do you think? How much good can we do with one cup of tea? Oh, a fair bit, Luke. A gentleman never underestimates the power of a cup of hot tea. Um... Hmm, well, when you put it like that, I suppose it could hurt to spread the wealth. Ali, you two sure are running around a lot. Makes me a tired just watching y'all. <laughs> why don't uh, why, why why don't you rest the spell with this puzzle I got here? Uh, Gar. Oh God, I hate this one. I'm looking it up. 
Here. <laughs> what? Here are four circular flower beds, each the radius of ten feet. The way they're arranged forms the space between them. Can you find the area of square feet of the section colored in the red below? Ignore the width of the border around around the flower beds when calculating your answer. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm sure I, I, it checks out, but like this is one of those ones where like now there's another puzzle with that like we disagreed with where it's actually the second time where like we've disagreed with a ma math puzzle, including myself. And but I yeah. remember it checking out in like when I originally played and then I went back to it after recording the video later and was like really sat down with it. And I was like, oh, crap, it does actually check out <laughs> this one. I always just went. I disagree. <laughs> Well, what do, you, what do you think the answer is? Uh, my brain doesn't comprehend the question. I don't do math. Four hundred. This should do the trick. And there we have it. I cannot claim to understand this. Uh, here for one square feet if you come in this field. The red section has an area of 400 square feet if you quarter the space between the flower beds and fit the pieces into the circle as shown on the diagram on the right. You can turn the circle into a square and once you do, the size of the square will have the same length as the diameter of a single flower bed. 20 feet. Where is the number to get the area and your answer? How the fuck am I supposed to even do that? That just hurts my brain. I I can't do this. Okay. <laughs> Give me more yeah. like logic puzzles and less math problem. Yeah. <laughs> Golly. Y'all ran through that puzzle so fast it made my head spin. <laughs> You're one of those people who who does everything th thing thing all good. Slick like? Slick like, huh? Yeah. I get tired j j just thinking about it. Pepper cherry. Boy, you should run around a bunch. You never catch me doing that. I'd get all sweaty. Sir, a minute, please. Oh, hello there. You're the fellow with Inspector Chelmy, yes? The name's Barton, sir. I'm in kind of a constable serving under Inspector Chelmy, sir. <clears throat> I feel obliged to let you know you might want to reconsider bringing the child up this way. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Why? What's up ahead? Oh. Things best left unknown till you're older, lad. My advice is to do an about face to leave the area. I don't think he'll budge on this, Luke. We'll have to find another path leading up that way. I'm glad the the, the logic isn't. Yeah, maybe Luke shouldn't go up there. It's let's find another way to get Luke up there. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Quick hide, Professor. I see the Spectre talking. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I see the Spectre tell me up this way. Coming this way. Something like that. No need for alarm, Luke. He's likely just gathering information about Dr. Schrader's case. It seems he's finally figured out that the key to solving it lies here in full sense. <laughs> it's almost as if the inspector's almost got a handle on things for once. So let me confirm. This here is the man you witness asking around about the Elysian bomb. No doubt about it now. Yep, the man in that photograph is the one. I'd remember that beard anywhere. Mm. Well, that stills the deal. Just as I suspected, it seems he did make his way to full sense. Come along now, Barton. We're moving on. God damn it. Oh, yes, sir. Right behind you, sir. I don't trust that, Felix. Sorry, sir, but I can't let you in like that. You've got a dress. We've got a dress code, see? I'll need to take that hat from you. Hmm. So you're saying that we can enter if I give you a hat? 
Well, what? Checking Felix's request for that hat at face value. You must now find another hat to hand over from the pattern shown below. The hat you're looking for will be the same shape and size as the one you're shown above the pattern, but it might not be facing the same direction. Now, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Is it in the middle? Um. Maybe. I'm actually just gonna look this up instead of staring at it for too long. I've done it before, but I always forget where it is. And it's the kind of puzzle where if you figure it out, you, you can't really help me that much. Yeah. Now it's down there. Oh, that's... Hmm. I see. That's good enough. It's probably fairly forgiving. Consider this puzzle solved. Yeah. Yeah. And there we have it. That's wrong. <laughs> okay. Sure. There we are. As requested, I have provided you with that hat. Huh? Um, Professor, I don't think that's quite what he meant. Be that as it may, I am not taking my hat off. Let's go, Luke. But I was really looking forward to stopping in for a snack. A gentleman never takes off his hat, Luke, and that's all I have to say about it. Uh-huh. This is too deep for me. Just admit you're bald and go with it. I, I just accept it, Leighton. That was uh, a very strange aside we just had there. Sure was. <clears throat> Have a look at these photos of the town, Luke. Whoever took them clearly has a fine eye for detail. But if you look closely, you can see that the pictures are chronologically out of order. Do you think you can figure out where each picture belongs? That's a puzzle. Four photographs decorate the wall of Joseph's photo studio. Each photo depicts the same area and is taken at the exact same time of day. However, each photo is taken at a different point in time, and if you look carefully, you can figure out in order the order in which these photos were taken. Enter your answer using the letters attached to each pictures starting with the earliest like so a b c d all right i got it good go for it <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, oh. uh i can actually I, so i've noticed one thing off the bat at least before we answer it uh i guess the a is the last yes okay so that's cool um the, the A on the sign is out, so that would have to be the last thing that happened. Um, beyond that, I'm not really noticing anything majorly different, so... There's a... Um, so in the top right... Oh. I was gonna say, on C, the, the lantern is out. Oh, it is. Yeah. On C, there's no lantern there, and there's a lantern in all three other pictures. There's also a building missing in the top right corner. Oh, he adds yeah. the oh. lantern, oh. he adds the building, A has the one light that's out. Yeah, there we go. No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh man. It's only, it is forgiving, but only so forgiving. <laughs> Just leave it to me. Piece of cake. Yeah. Oh, there's something about a different color in there. I didn't even notice that. Oh, well. 
Oh well. There we are. If these photos are any indication, Fallsense has quite a rich and a lengthy history. How neat! With enough of these pictures, I bet you could see exactly how the town developed. You bring up an interesting point, Luke. But if these photos are that old, why do they look so new? Now that you mention it, I suppose they do look new. Normally, with shots this old, the image is a bit more deteriorated. I wonder what method the studio uses to keep these photos so immaculate. Oh, there's a guy here. <laughs> My, these photos look stunningly new for their age. How do you manage that? Sorry, sir, but that's uh, uh, a bit of a trade secret. Thanks. Hey. All right, good talk. I just told you, that's a bit of a trade secret. I'm going to fiddle oh, yeah. around with the camera a bit. Because I don't know how many parts we already have. We're probably still missing a bunch, but... Yeah, we have a bunch. It's very subtle, uh, but when you snap it into the correct place, it makes a different noise. Mm. I, uh, this is really convenient for me because I gotta step away for another moment. Okay. This just looks like an SD card. Yeah. do have all the parts. I guess I just kind of instinctively remembered that this is the point you could do it. Ah. <laughs> Yay. Yay, we have a camera now. Yay. We can take photos. We can take selfies. Use the camera to find hidden puzzles hidden, all over the place. Hidden puzzles? <laughs> when walking in certain locations, a camera icon will appear on screen. When it does, tap the icon to tap a, snap a photo of the area and then play a see what's different in the photograph from the other photograph game. Uh, so we gotta do a puzzle to unlock our hidden puzzles and our you gotta game do a spot puzzle. the difference to unlock your hidden puzzle. <laughs> puzzle for puzzles, dude. Yeah. Is that what we get for fixing the camera? Yep. Yeah, it's all we get for fixing the camera. <laughs> More puzzles! Yay! <laughs> and we have, like, new ingredients, but I don't remember what <laughs> the tea things are, so I'll probably just wait. Some characters give you tips, and uh, I can always just look up the tea combinations later, too. Yeah. Dog. Dog? He doesn't appear to be in a very good mood, Luke. Is he wearing a diaper? I always thought it looked like that, but that doesn't make sense. But but it looks like it. Yeah, it really does. Let me see if I can find out what his problem is. Uh, yeah, hey that, that 100% is, isn't it? That's weird. That's a diaper. He's wearing yeah, a diaper. Yeah, that, that, that's a diaper. 
<laughs> Good heavens, Luke, are you hurt? I don't think he's in the mood for conversation right now. Indeed. Let's find another way through town. Passing through here is rather difficult right now. With each passing... I'm okay, Billy. That, was, that was a very good yell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm alright. It's okay. It's okay. Mwah. Uh, with each passing moment, I, I question Layton's ability to be the guardian for children more and more. <laughs> yeah, 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 so do I. Like, the first one, he, he seemed like, all right, kind of eccentric, but fine. Can I, but can I tell you I'm something like, that's messed up? What's that? I, the premise behind the uh, distant, uh, like, the, the premise behind the future that's, uh, behind the sequel that's set more in the future, where you play as Layton's daughter instead of Layton himself. Like, not Flora, uh -huh. like, I guess he just legit fathers a child at some point. And the concept is that she is looking for Layton. Like, he's just gone. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, the, the, this just makes Layton even worse. He oh, abandoned what the his heck? actual family to, to like, abduct Luke. I mean, is this is uh, that, like, traveling around with another child, like... Layton, and like, like I, I'm starting to wonder if, if in like the big crossover this is all looking for if he might be our defendant. <laughs> looking like this might he might need it. This must be the uh, museum. The gates shut tight. I don't think they're open right now. When they get this kid a new role model. Yeah. I was hoping we'd find some useful information inside, but there's no sense in standing around waiting. For the time being, let's continue our investigation elsewhere. <laughs> this is getting like... Michigan clue noises of absurd. <laughs> but it's not less amusing of a sound. Yeah, it's not as funny of a sound, and the context isn't as funny. <laughs> Greeting, strangers, let me guess. You've come here seeking fame and fortune? Actually, we're searching for an item called the Elysian Box. Does that name sound familiar? Ah, yeah, that's a fantastic name. Here's a puzzle for sharing that great name with me. Hmm. Uh, okay. Okay. For 117? I yell the photographs, shows three couples in the photo. No man is standing directly above his spouse of the three women, two are sisters, and are sitting next to each other. The elder sister's husband is the man without a mustache. Everyone in the picture is wearing a hat, save the husband of the younger sister. The woman unrelated to the other two is sitting in front of the younger sister's husband. Uh, my brain is so melting. I have a man. fever. I can't do this shit. <laughs> can you find the man in this bunch who is married to neither sister? I gotta keep it real with you, brother. I have no clue what the fuck I just read and I read it. Okay, hold on. Let me see if this is one of those. It gives you way more details than you need. Let me focus on the last one. Can you find the man in this bunch? Who is married to neither sister? Okay. Elder yes, sister's okay. husband is the one with. Uh, elder sister's husband is the man without a mustache, so it's not A. Uh, save the husband of the younger sister. Is not wearing a hat. Is okay. It's B. Consider this puzzle solved. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle. It, it gives you so many details up front that it goes. It makes you like. Uh, but if you kind of work backwards, it's it's not too bad. Answer is B. Finding the answer to this one just requires close reading. You know, the elder sister's husband has no mustache, so that must be A. You also know that the younger sister's husband has no hat, so he's obviously C. With those two choices eliminated, the answer is clear. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the older sister is E, the little sister is D, and the last woman, F, is married to B. I feel like when I was in a better um, state, I actually figured all of that out. But, like, for now, just figuring out the answer was good enough for me. <laughs> for the record... This is the worst family photo known to man. Who takes the, who stays next to someone else's wife for a family photo? <laughs> yeah. Good job and good luck finding that what you would call it. You know the thingy with the great name. But when you open it, a genie pops out and uh, grants you a wish or something. Neato. A, a genie pops out and kills you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as long as your wish is dying, he'll grant you your wish. <laughs> The, El the Elysian box has such a nice drink to it. What genius came up with that gem of a name? Hmm. Uh, sensuous voice. 
Not it. <laughs> oh, Mr. <laughs> yes. Um, it's been ages. <laughs> I do hope you find what you were looking for. Yes. I, yeah. After after <laughs> editing videos for the third Phoenix Wright case, this is perfect. <laughs> oh shit. <clears throat> I wish. I told Samuel to track it down, but the boy is about as useful as a broken pocket watch. Oh, don't fret like that. Leaves wrinkle in that distinguished power of yours. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Mr. B? Would you like me to come in inside and unwind for um. a bit? Cover the child's ears, please, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Professor, do you see that? Mr. Faluka just went into that cabaret. I don't envy her. Let's take a closer no. look, shall we? No! Oh, hello! Leighton! Leighton, dude! <laughs> oh, my. Hello there. All dark and handsome. Come, uh, care to come in and catch the show tonight? I apologize, madam, but we're in the middle of... Ah, uh-huh. you getting shy on me? How cute. <laughs> don't worry, hot stuff. I don't bite. <laughs> Much. Oh, and who's your little friend there? <laughs> to a precious boy. This does not elicit the level of concern that I would prefer to do. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, um, this is... Me? Um... Um... Sorry, it might be too that this is supposed to be not what you think it is, because... I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's a cabaret. On principle, the young man should not be here. Yeah. Yeah. Friggin' honeybee and Sorry to change the subject, <laughs> but I couldn't help but notice Mr. Beluga entering your cabaret. Oh. <laughs> you friends with Mr. B? Something like that, yes. Tell me, does Mr. Beluga visit here often? Mr. Beluga is, is, is certainly a patron of the arts, that's for sure. I can't say much more, though. Oh, but you are a handsome devil, mister. So charming, so dapper, and such a gentleman. Uh, show me you've got the brains to match those looks. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll let a few facts with. Great. <laughs> oh god, it's one of these. Okay, uh, I haven't sold a necklace, but the thing is, is it's not really my taste anymore, so I decided to sell it. When I was getting it appraised the other day, I realized something weird. Each stone is worth a different amount, but if I break the necklace in three pieces, the three gem strands will be worth the same amount as another. Can you believe it? Here, see if you can figure out when you gotta cut. Oh God! Okay. I'm kind of sitting here thinking this is another one of those ones where I'm like, if I was just playing the game, I would just try to work through it, but I'm tempted to just kind of like, no. <laughs> this one's a lot more math heavy than the other one, or at least the, at least it feels like it. Those ones add up. Great. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Consider this puzzle solved. I'm just like, oh, I've, usually when I play through this game, I just, I do the puzzle. Uh, this one's kind of boring to sit there and watch someone work through. <laughs> I guess I could have used a hint coin. That might have made it easy, like easier because it might have given us a place to work from. Oh, well. I'll have to yeah, keep that yeah. in mind for like ne another next time I see a puzzle that I'm just like, eh. Handsome and smart. You say, <laughs> you're some catch, aren't you? Instead of me smitten. About Mr. B, he's definitely here looking for something, but I can't say I know what. The search must be going badly because he's kind of crabby whenever I see him now. I don't have anything else to tell you about Mr. B, handsome. Uh, I'm a performer. 
Not as good as right. Liar. Oh, hello. <laughs> Say, you guys are out of town, am I right? We sure are. How'd you figure that out? <laughs> Cause I am too. Plus, I'm kind of trying to figure out figure out who's native and who's not. Well, that sounds handy. Can you teach me how to do it too? Uh, sure, I guess. But not for free. Should I tell you what? I've been feeling kind of down lately. If you can make me go, I'll show you, I'll show you how, how to do it. Well, I imagine we might be able to whip up a cup of tea that provides something of a mood boost. <laughs> that sounds delicious. I haven't had a tea in a, a really long time. Yeah. Okay, what do you want? Funk. I don't think I'm, I don't think it's actually either one of these, and he's not giving me any hints about what ingredients to use. So, yeah, probably just come back to this one. Oh no! Okay, you just wanted the basic one. Well, that's good tea. <laughs> now that's the stuff I tell you. The, the classics really are the best. That goes for tea too. We've held up our end of the deal, so spill the beans! How do you tell outsiders from natives here? Oh, that's easy, uh, go, good. Just go, just go get up real close, and give them a sniff. Brother. <laughs> Seems like most people from out of town smell like roses. The, the train right, the car. Yeah. I see. You've taken a photo. Here we go. Okay, there's one right there. That's an easy this one. Should do the trick. A true gentleman leaves. Oh, there's no two more. Unsolved. Ah. to test my theory. Ha! Huh, wonderful! Spot the difference! It bugs me that they crop them differently. That throws me off sometimes. Yeah, I was like, uh, thinking about that a little bit. Uh, come on, I want to... Huh. Ah, shit. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Nathan's apprentice strikes again. No, there's a puzzle hidden somewhere. It'll be in one of the three places that there was a difference, generally, if I recall right. That one was a hint coin. Uh, nothing there. And that one's the puzzle. I spy a hidden puzzle. Oh my lord, okay. <clears throat> On the edge of a forest lives a particularly messy mole. His burrow is so clogged up with trash that eventually he has to tidy up. However, being lazy, he decides to clean up his place while doing the least work possible. In order to pick up all the trash in his burrow without passing through any one tunnel twice, which of the holes, A through G, should the mole start cleaning from? While moving through any tunnel twice is forbidden, he can pass through any junction between tunnels as often as he wants. Hmm. Oh boy. Ugh. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he concludes at the T intersection.
I guess the implication is that the I actually don't even I realize I don't even quite know the rules of this puzzle like I'm just gonna look it up yeah yeah I'm not in great shape for puzzle solving tonight <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I guess three gave me the answer. Because there's only one hole that starts from, uh... That has, like, an odd number of paths. This should do the trick. I forgot about that. Sometimes the third hint literally is just the answer, if you pay attention. lot of work. <laughs> hey, there's that shack again. Granny Riddleton's shack. Hmm. If we overlook puzzles along the course of our journey, we know where we can go, don't we, Luke? Oh wait, I didn't need to talk to you. Uh, yep, I decided to set up camp in town. Pretty spiffy takes, don't you think? If you lose track of puzzles while running around town, have a look in here. But don't let those puzzles pile up in here. You could regret it later. Okay, there are a bunch. <laughs> Great. Regret because Puzzle then you have, like, too many puzzles to do. Yay. Johnny and Thomas are each carrying some apples. If Johnny gave Thomas one apple and two men would each have the same number of apples, conversely, if Thomas gave Johnny two apples, Johnny would have three times the number of apples that Thomas would have. Just how many apples is each of the men holding? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. If two men each, each, each had, uh, okay. If Johnny gave Thomas one apple and then each had the same, yeah, he'd have two. Let's that see. Let's work eight. this out. If he yeah, gave one, that then three. Nope, that doesn't work because then. Yeah. Three and one, then he has two. Um, Thomas. If Johnny would have three times the number of apples. Okay. If Thomas gave two apples, he'd have, two apple, have three times. Okay. Or three. No, not quite. Seven and five? It'd be six and six, and then it'd be three and nine. Yeah, all right. Six, six and six. And now to test my theory. Huh. That, that math puzzle was simple yeah. enough for me that I could do it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of just process of eliminating it. Yeah. Next. <laughs> Which house where? Below are houses A, B, C, and D, each of which is a different color. Decipher each house's color from the following clues. One, the red house is closer to the pine tree than the blue house. Two, the yellow house is closer to the lake than the greenhouse. Uh, three, the greenhouse is closer to the power lines than the blue house. D is either yellow, blue, or green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's process of elimination. If that was blue and this was red, 
Close to the pine tree. Nope. Okay. It's not. Oh, yeah. The pine tree can't be blue. So it's either. Yeah. Green or yellow. It's not green. So it must be yellow, actually. Uh. Oh. Uh. The red house is closer to the pine tree. The red house is closer to the pine tree than the blue house. The yellow is closer. Oh, wait. <sighs> Okay, let's say this was blue. The pine tree then the blue. House is closer to the lake than the green. No. Green house is closer to the power lines than the blue. My brain is not getting this. Okay. I just want to the yellow house is closer to the lake than the greenhouse. Uh, does that count? Because it probably is, but it's got kind of... Yeah, 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 great. Yeah, yeah, green is what would be closer there. Let's, let's, let's see. That, that there, wor what works for green, that works here. Yellow house is, is center of the lake. Okay, it is closer to the lake than the gr um yellow is closer to the lake than the green. Yellow is um yellow B and D does not put it closer to the lake than the greenhouse. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like I can't tell if it's so, really any closer. Yeah. So how about l l let's see here. But green has to be near the power line, so it can't. Yeah, green, green has to can't be, be near green. the power line. How about we make B yellow? Okay, with that. Okay, B yellow. C there at the. Uh, all right, green there. Let let there. Let, 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 let's see. Put that here. Let's see. Do the red, blue, yellow. It has closer to the pine tree than the blue house. The, ah. the, 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 well... And D can't be the, red. What's throwing me off is the closer the, than the blue, is red house being closer to the okay, hold on. pine Let's... tree than the blue house. That go D Green's going blue, that the goes... Blue, yellow, what does that do? Red house is close to the pine tree now, because, okay, the red has to be... Now. Which red is this one? Closer to the pine tree than the blue house. And then, uh, the yellow is closer to the lake than the green house. Oops. Wait. Red is closer to the tree than the blue house. The yellow house is closer to the lake than the green house. The green house is closer to the... Oh. Maybe that does count as closer. Uh, no. Maybe it does. I, I'm not. Because I'm not seeing anything else that works. I, I'm. Yeah, let's go with it. Solved. All right, that that there, that, there we there go. We have it. That's really hard to tell if it should count or not. Yeah, that is. And it doesn't give us an explanation as to, oh, here's how this, here's why this. I'll just have a long one cleaning up these puzzles and then end of the video. There's a fellow with very particular rules about when he wears his best hat. He, uh, when it's sunny, he always wears his best, he always wears his hat. When it's rainy, he doesn't wear his hat. When it's cloudy, he doesn't wear his hat unless it's been cloudy for two days in a row, in which case he wears his hat on the second of these days. Below is a chart of when this man wore his hat over the course of one week. He uses panels to fill in the weather for each day, keeping in mind that it doesn't rain on cloudy days. 
Um, yeah, the trick is that you have to assume that there was a, a cloudy day the day before. Sunday. Ah. This From what I recall. Huh. Wonderful. They only give you so many panels to work with, so it's the only possible solution. There you go. Yeah. It, it explained what you just explained, so. so yeah. Another one. Yeah. Yay. Your pristine white flag that you have to color in three sections is shown, shown below. You have three paints. No two adjacent sections of the flag can be the same color. Each section can only be one color, and you can't change the number of s or size of these sections. You aren't allowed to mix paint. How many distinct flag designs are possible? Okay. Okay. Yeah, this one is just... Huh? So the obvious RGB and then... Yeah. RGB. RBG. R R RBG. God, that's too big. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I see. Yeah. <sighs> G-R-B-G-G-R-B. Uh, 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 oh, well. Well, well, yeah, you, G -R. yeah, it's, oh. G-R. G-R-B. G-B-R. And I think, so there's a trick, though. Uh, use the white as a color. Ah, uh, yeah. Tricky. We get the logic. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get the logic. We're working through it. We're, we're, we're not going to finish it. Yeah. Because then you have to also use white in the middle, use it on the end. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of combinations. It's probably like, if you're really galaxy brain, you can probably just kind of calculate it without working through it one at a time. But, yeah. Here goes. That was almost too easy. <laughs> they go right to multiplication, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, why don't you incorporate the white color of the unpainted flag into your designs? You actually have four colors you can work with. If you assign a color to the left third of the flag and list all the designs possible, you see a total of nine variations multiplies number by four, which represents the... No the number of colors at your disposal to get the answer 36 variations. So there you go, there's the galaxy brain shortcut. Cool, we cleared all the puzzles and hey. got nothing. No. You get nothing. Hey. You get nothing gold. <laughs> well, well, that probably just means we won't be stopped by a roadblock of, hey, you haven't done this arbitrary number of puzzles. Legitimately, Go I think the that. the final one of those roadblocks is somewhere in like it's like seventy or seventy something. Oh, we're uh, well, well, well approaching that. Yeah. yeah, that's like the final one in the whole game. <laughs> but yeah, I think that'll do. That'll do it for a video. This one's like almost an hour. That sounds yeah. good to me. Yeah. Okay. Till next time. Bye.